Marking, it drives teachers crazy in schools all across the world. Now remote teaching, remote learning and assessment could even be a bigger problem. In 2019, with 13 teachers in seven disadvantaged state schools across England, we gathered together over the academic year to ask this question. To what impact does verbal feedback have on disadvantaged pupils? Now, what we wanted to check also was, does, why, why do we assume ver written feedback is always the best form? And how could we particularly evidence verbal feedback when it's not necessarily uh, having to be recorded in written format? Um, so lots of things here. Um, many of you be familiar with all these live assessment, live feedback techniques. Um, this comes from Education Endowment Foundation with a few strategies from my work from Matt Plan Teach. Um, you'll have seen many things about the modelling I do, we do, you do. The most effective teachers regularly model. A visualiser, if you don't have one, then you're just modelling day to day on your feet in the classroom anyway. Verbal feedback sheets, whole class feedback. I don't mark the books. I annotate the sheet and I provide feedback to the students sitting in groups. We've got feedback, feed up, feed forward. We've also got written feedback, verbal feedback and non-verbal feedback. There are different ways to provide feedback, not just written. Out of all the strategies that the teachers used over the course of the academic year, the most popular were line assessment in the lesson and reduction in written feedback. So things like marking codes, um, zonal marking, yellow box methods, those types of things you'll be familiar with. So this is all in the research paper. Of course we know when we speak to kids it makes a difference. Now we've got a little bit of academic research to back it up. Um, so in the report itself there are one of the biggest criticisms or critiques or questions from the research is how do I evidence verbal feedback? I want to do this in our school. How do we ev evidence it? Well, there are about four pages of this defined in terms of engagement. Things such as students showing more confidence, being more independent, self-regulating their behaviour, putting their hand up in class, active listening, punctuality, reduction in exclusions. It's really important to define outcomes in the world of education. So there are six pages there. This is just one screen. Um, the actual report you can get on my website. Um, there's the code there. So bit.ly forward slash capital VFF uh, for findings. You've got the resources used and the 20 page research report written by myself, Mark Quinn and the teachers. It's a great piece of research um, if you're interested in reducing the marking burden. Here is the impact of all the things that are on here. The biggest one for me is the teachers reduce their marking and in return plan better lessons. By planning better lessons, they met the needs of their children better and that resulted in better engagement, better behaviour, etc, etc. Um, I'll finish with this quote here. Verbal feedback when accompanied by a removal or reduction of written feedback does not negatively impact on pupils engagement or their exam scores. Um, so take a look at the research and I hope it makes a difference to your marking burden.